when you hear I mean, the kind of <laughs> <laughs> the US congressman has disassociated himself from the British exploiters who are sending weapons to the zoo government to enter into Biafra land, consume their resources and take them as prisoners. They have disassociated themselves from from the British men who do not have respect for the common being of humanity. Along the line, we must understand the remarkable measures one must have to pursue itself on daily basis. Big remarkable measures. And that's what is more consistent in everything we are doing. We cannot hide ourselves, <clears throat> throw ourselves in any negative manner, then consider the other way around. Knowing fully well that we have only made a joke of what is to be. And if you permit me, I will say it. Truth of the matter is this the Biafra restoration has taken a new corn, a new wave, and a new season. And everybody must understand and reliably tell each other. This is very true that most people are scared of saying. For the past few years, we have noticed this very support coming from the, you know, the British Empire. Many years, if you remember an interview that I watched one day, they asked the man, a British man, politician, a British politician, and I said, don't you care? It was a white journalist that was asking him the question. I know by now the man is already gone because that that video is you know during the Biafran war and he should be in his late twenties. So they asked him and said, "People are dying in Biafran land, and you guys are supplying weapons for these people. You are supplying weapons for the Nigerian government. Don't you care about the people that are dying?" He said, "It's business. That doesn't care. <clears throat> it's business, you know." They understand what they are doing with Africans. They don't care about say, those monkeys should should not be allowed to live. Monkeys. <laughs> mm. Look at human being created by God and you call them monkeys. That is one horrible thing I must say. But if care is not taken. I'm telling you with full respect, with full honor, no man can wash anything that is going on and keep quiet. We Biafrans have suffered a lot. We have suffered too much. And I pray that we don't continue to suffer before somebody will come to our aid. But regardless, if you know you are not going to add anything to the growth of Biafra, don't ridicule it. Don't spoil the effort that so many millions of people are making to put heads together. So it makes sense, and it will never make sense. Just want to encourage somebody out there.